What are you doing? Coming to you live, my name is Kyle Scott. Today I'm going to show you how to play What Are You Doing New Year's Eve, the Carpenter's version. I'm doing finger picking here. If you struggle with that, check out the video I made on how to properly finger pick to develop your skills in that area. You can try this with a pick if you want, but I think finger picking is a little better here. We are going to work out that intro. Before I show you it, let me play it for you because the intro is short in the song and it's just strings and I want you to see what it's going to sound like when we figure it out. So here's what the intro sounds like. That's our intro, and if you listen to the song, you'll see it sounds exactly like that, only on guitar instead of violins. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to make an A chord shape here, and but we're just going, we're just, we just need this note. Okay, and pretty soon we're going to need this one. But we're going to start with just plucking the thumb and the ring finger on those two open strings, A and B strings. And we're going to hammer on the, the uh, ring finger on the second fret there, B string. And we're going to go. And then we're going to hit this with our index. So you have. Then we move to the next sequence, which is getting this F sharp here with our index, second fret, E string middle finger on the third fret D string and we're gonna play these two together I do it with thumb and middle and we play we're hammering on to the fourth fret there so you pluck and then smash down and then an open A string and then we move to a C chord and you can just strum it it goes for a full bar or you can, you know, kind of pick it at your leisure. And then we've got an A6 over an E in the bass. So we're going to make sort of like an F sharp minor, but we're going to take this ring finger down and we're going to get rid of these top two notes and we're just going to bar these three down here and have an open E string. To sound like that rolling strings thing, I like to go... So skipping the A string and playing... And then both these together. And then doing an F over E, which means we slide down to here and put our middle in the, in the middle there on the G string second fret and play the same pattern in the right hand, in the picking hand. And then we land on an A major 7, which is an A chord without the G string there, but instead on the first fret, playing it here. Now you can do it like this as well as long as you have those notes. So stringing that together. There's our intro. Moving into the first verse, we have that A major 7 chord. Maybe. Then we have an A over an F sharp. Okay, it's kind of like an F sharp minor, but it's really just, you could just bar these three with those three fingers and play an F sharp in the bass with your thumb. Or you can play an A chord and do an F sharp up there like that. I'm a big thumb user when it comes to guitar, so I do it like this. And then we've got a G7, which you'll see me play like this sometimes. It's just a G bar chord, like an E shape up to here, barring here, but no pinky. I do that G7 a lot. There's also this one, uh, like a G chord here that you learn when you first start guitar, but take up your, take off your uh, index and move your ring finger up there to the D string third fret and play. There's also just not even worrying about the pinky, just playing. Or there's the G note here and the seventh way over here. There's lots of ways to play a G7. So that first line again. Maybe it's much too early in the game. 
Then moving on to an A major 7. Oh, what I... Then an A7, taking off the index. Open G string here. Thought I... A D chord, standard. Ask you to... Then a G7, we'll do a different position this time. We'll do this one. The same. Then the third line, A major 7, what are you? A over F sharp, doing... B13, which is a B7, but you need to get that note in there. Okay, so what I do is I rearrange and I play my fingers like this. As if you're playing a B major chord, right? Bar your second fret, make an A shape here on the fourth fret, bar. But instead of here, we're going to take these two fingers down, each down one string, and play. You don't need to hit all the strings. In fact, if you don't want to do the middle, you can just hit and just not play that note. That's the beauty of finger picking. And then it switches to a B7, so we need to remove the pinky. All right, you can have this one down if you want. It's up to you, if you want to play that string. And then we have an E, new, and then a big cool walk down right here. New. We'll do a D7 here. All right, you could also do it here in classic standard position. I just like it here because we're going to be walking down a little bit, and it's easier for me to visualize and memorize that way. So we've got D7. This is barring the fifth, putting a ring on seven, pinky on seven on the D and B strings. On that word, years. And then C sharp minor seven. Right, dropping it all down, and but putting the middle back here on five instead of the pinky where it was. And then sliding it down one more time, but putting the pinky back where it was. Then down to F, which you'll see me do like this. You could also just have a standard bar F, but I'm just going to play those notes. So that's all I need. I like to use a thumb. And then an E6, which is an E chord with the pinky there on the B string 2nd fret. We need that note in there. So it would be... And then the A major 7. Verse 2 is the same in the first three lines, but the last line changes a little bit because they changed the melody. So the last line, we could do it up here and play. Just like we played the B13 down here earlier on the uh, second fret with this stuff. We do it way up here now, barring the seventh fret. New Year's Eve. Then an A chord. Then a passing G sharp seven chord, which is just a G sharp bar chord with no pinky. And then we've got that chorus. C sharp minor. Maybe I'm crazy. All right. This is just barring for A minor shape up here with these fingers. So ring, pinky, middle on six, six, and five. I have a bar there. Maybe I'm G sharp augmented with a suspended second is just a three note chord. You can use our thumb. You can use your middle or your thumb. G sharp, fourth fret there. Pinky on the uh, B string, fifth fret. And index here on the uh, third fret G string. Interesting little chord. Crazy. Then D sharp minor, which we're going to play here just two steps up, or uh, uh, two frets up from the C sharp minor. Then down to that G sharp seven, which we already saw. C sharp minor seven. I'd have a B. E over B, we're going to play like this. A shape on the ninth fret. Getting that note in, as your bass. Kind of cool chord. So, I'd ever be F sharp over A sharp. We're going to slide. We want this note in the bass on the sixth fret. So, we're going to slide down and play that here. Now, that's middle on the sixth fret, E string. Don't play the A string. Fourth fret, uh, 6th fret, 7th fret, and nothing on the E string. Don't play it. Just those four strings. The one. Now you could also play that 
in this position, I'm going to show you, we're going to keep these three notes, but we're going to play them with different fingers. We're going to do it like this. All right, we're going to see that shape later in the song. I think it's a little, I think from here it's a little easier to go here because you can kind of just slide that pinky. I love sliding. The one, whenever I can slide, I do. The one you chose. Quick walk down here, A diminished, which is like an A major chord, but we need these two notes to be to the next fret back, so it's kind of awkward. Fifth, sixth, seventh, fifth. The one you chose. Quick walk. So A diminished, G sharp major. Next line. Out of a. Now we're gonna do our F sharp over A sharp here. Thousand, which I showed earlier. Then the B chord. All right, you can just do a standard bar chord B. You can do this B, but I like to go from here to here. Invitate. Then down to an F sharp major, which I'm gonna play. You can do it here again, just like with your A sharp, but it really needs to have this note in the bass. So I'll do it here. So it'll be. Same shape as that, but here on the second fret. And then an F sharp minor seven, just like an F sharp minor, right? Bar here, four and four on the A and D strings, but no pinky. You. Then we have a B minor seven, barring here, four there, bar there, three, bar, you. And then a B seven, just put your pinky on here. Receive. And we have an A seven suspended which we're gonna play like this. Okay, just like an E7, but with the ring on the G string second fret, and then we're gonna take it off. Then it goes back to verse three, that is the chorus again. This second time through the chorus, they do have a key change. So they've got, you receive. They go to C7, and then the F9, which looks like this. It's a F bar chord, but the pinky way down here. All right, you can just play this if you want. You don't need to have that there if you were gonna skip that string and just play. Also, on a lot of these, you can just play like the F, right? You don't have to get all these ninths and stuff if you don't want. Now, for this, Next part, all these chords um, are just bumped up a half step from where they were earlier, so I'm not gonna teach all of them. Um, you can see them in the playthrough, and I'm going to do that playthrough now. Let's go from the top of the song. Baby, it's much too Back to the top of verse three, then it hits the chorus, and at the end of the chorus, it looks like this. You
Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you on my future videos. This was What Are You Doing New Year's Eve by The Carpenters. See you next time.